Hey guys, so I just want to give you my thoughts on the Kiss Blowout Lashes in the style Page Boy. So these are what the lashes look like. I did apply them to my eyes today. And what I did is I cut off the ends of them just about right up to here. And I tried to apply the strip lash adhesive, the Kiss one, but it didn't work out for me. Um, I just found it really hard to stay on to my eyes. So I actually found this one to be kind of tricky, at least trying to apply it right underneath my actual lashes. So instead, I ended up going back to the Duo Lash Glue. This is the strip lash adhesive, the dark tone one. And I used this to apply it. And I just went right on top of it, like right here. And then I applied it right underneath my eyes. Now, this time today, I had a really hard time applying these lashes underneath my actual lashes. Like, it was actually really hard today, whereas the last time I applied them, it was a lot easier. So that's kind of funny how it works with lashes. I always have a day where it's better and then days where I struggle with it more. But yeah, I'm just letting you guys know if you do try the technique where you apply it underneath your lashes, it's just really hard. The hardest thing about it is to make sure it lines up because you're applying it. You have to kind of pull up your eye when you apply it and line it up almost perfectly. And then the hardest part, too, is these ends. So what I find with this part is it's really hard to get it to line up where it stays and it's not poking out. And same thing for this part. So it's just really hard to apply lashes in general. Um, I did try to use the applicator a couple times, but I really struggled with using the applicator. So I just ended up using my fingers which I think it also in a way makes it harder because your fingers aren't like, at least my fingers are kind of like bigger. So trying to apply them is really difficult. But yeah, but overall, I really like these lashes. I think they're really natural and pretty on my eyes. I want to say, you know, natural, but everyone's eyes are different. So what may be natural for you may be may not be natural for me and what may not be natural for you might be natural for me so I don't want to really say natural but you know very you know just pretty lashes we'll go with that um but yeah these lashes are really pretty I do find though the technique of applying it underneath your lashes makes it look a lot more natural even if it's a bigger lash so I really do like these. I will be wearing them a lot more. And now I have a more natural lash that I can wear and I really love. So those are my thoughts on the Kiss Page Boy lashes. But very natural style um, if you apply it underneath your lashes. But still not over the top natural. Okay, the next thing I want to share with you guys, so I got two new things. Um, I got the Pacifica Himalayan Patchouli Berry Perfume. Um, this is like a rollerball one, and it smells really pretty. If you want to get into patchouli scents, this is a really good place to start. I find that this scent is not over the top at all. It's a very, like, um, pretty fruity patchouli and because of the berry notes I find it to the patchouli to not be over the top and overpowering so I really love this one if you get the rollerball too it makes it really easy to apply and a little goes a long way even with this scent because patchouli is very strong but this one is a very pretty patchouli scent so if patchouli you find to be a little bit nauseating 
I would say at least try this one if you want to get into patchouli again because it is not over the top. It's a very pretty fragrance and I think when patchouli is done right, it smells amazing. So I really love this one. The next thing I got is the Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction La Creme. So this one says it has notes of caramel apple, soft gardenia, and um, it just says creme de la pure seduction. So it's also the pure seduction scent. And this one, okay, when you first spray it, you get a lot of like that alcohol scent, but that kind of goes away. And to me, it smells like it smells a little bit floral. I don't know what Pure Seduction smells like, so I can't really compare it, but I'm sure it smells similar to that, um, the original one. But to me, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Champagne Toast, um, but less, uh, less sweet. And this one, you do get like that apple scent, which I think is really pretty. Um, I know people were disappointed because they said that they didn't get a lot of caramel in this fragrance, which it's supposed to have. Um, I would say you get it a little bit. Uh, I think it was Self Care Catherine here on YouTube who said it kind of smells like a powdery caramel apple, and I would have to agree with her. It's kind of like if you were to smell caramel apple is more of like a powder because it's a lighter caramel apple, which actually I prefer for this type of fragrance because it is also kind of like a floral scent. I find that I don't really want a whole lot of caramel apple in it, so I prefer this one. But I think it smells really pretty, really nice, and kind of soft, so I really like this. So yeah. And then, I got one more thing. So this is the Essence Lash Prince Mascara. This is the blue one. I usually get the green one, but they're out and it's pretty much the same thing, except this is the waterproof one. And this is one of my favorite mascaras of all time. Um, it makes my lashes look so long, which is what I love. I try to make my lashes look as long as possible. Even if they come out spidery, this is definitely like the definition of a spidey or a spidery lash mascara. This is what the wand looks like. But for $4.99, it's amazing. And it really does make your lashes look like spider legs. So if you like that look, this is for you. If you don't, I wouldn't get this. It makes your lashes so long. All right, you guys, but that is everything. Those are my thoughts on everything that I got today and especially the lashes. So thank you so much for watching and hope you guys have a great day.